In this little video, I will demonstrate how to create uh, points, categories like studies, uh, courses, and experience. At uh, Caroni eLearning, we have the option when students are resolving tasks to define if the task uh, is, is a course and should be given points as that. Or as you can see further down, there might be another one is a study task, which means they should have a study point. Uh, and at the end, you might see some experiences, which has not been made yet. So how do we make sure that Moodle uh, know if a task should be given course, studies or experience points? That's what we get having to do now. First of all, get to your overview over your different courses. Uh, <clears throat> the settings we are doing now has to be done for each of the periods. Uh, I, it has been done for number one. Number two, I just tested, so I will try one which, which we have never test, uh, done before. So period three, I open that. I'm in as a teacher or administrator. When I have the list of course, I go into administration. There's course administration, and I go into grade book setup. Here I will see um, all the points for all the tasks. At the bottom, I have a, a something called add category. And that's what we need to use. So I click on this. I give it a name. Uh, studies. And I save the changes. Continue. I repeat it for courses. Save the changes. Continue. And the last one is experiences. Save and close. Now I have created the point categories. So what's the next step? Well, I'll go back to my course. We are talking about period three. I go into the first one, which is a course. I go to the assignment, edit, edit settings, scroll down, grades, and I define that this is a course. Uh, and uh, seven return to courses. So you have to go through and do that for all the tasks. What will then happen later is if you go into the grade book, uh, we are talking about uh, period three. Uh, of course, I don't seem to be a teacher there. All right, I forgot to enroll myself as a teacher for the course, but now I'm a teacher for the course. So I go into period number three you'll see all the tasks and now most of them does not belong to a point category yet but you can see towards the end the one that we have done for study is now showing there so go through the tasks <clears throat> one by one add them all to a category and this table will all be populated where each task belongs to point category